everybody, Burn Gutter here. We are here with another Top 5 on Netflix. Yep, Top 5 on Netflix. And I always gotta say something beforehand about how we're gonna start off with number 5, but fuck it. Number 5! Five. 5! Number 5 is Extract. I honestly don't think Bart has seen this one, even though it was one of those movies that I've told him 10,000 times to watch that he's all stupid and won't. You know, my whole entire thing is suggesting movies to people, and my own fucking friend won't even take the suggestion. Because I know better. No, you don't <laughs> fucking know better. Because every time you end up doing one, well, you're like, hey, that was good! Yeah, but I wait like a year later to do it. Yeah, that. do you ever watch Burke and Hair yet? Hell no. <laughs> Made me good. But I'm, it is good. I'm a procrastinator. No, you'll just watch something you've watched a thousand times I and you'll watch it over good. and I'm, over again. I don't want to be disappointed. But how could you watch the same thing a thousand times over? Anyway, number five is extract. I know that's good. No, you don't. Because the shit you watch over again is never good in the first place. Once again, number five is extract. Extract is a movie starring Jason ba Bathman. Batham, yeah. <laughs> it's starring Jason... I almost said fucking Jason Statham again! God damn it! It's not Jason Statham, it's, it's Jason Bateman. Yes, it is. And it's written and directed by Mike Judge, you know, dude did Office Space and Beavis and Butthead and stuff like that. Oh, I love Beavis and Butthead. You don't have to tell me. Well, you don't know anything about this fucking movie. I know, but, but I it's know basically Mike Judge. Jason Bateman owns <coughs> and runs this extract company, you know, where they make, like, vanilla extract and stuff. Then all kinds of fucking <laughs> shit, bad shit happens. It almost seems like it should be a Ben Stiller movie, you know? how a Ben Stiller movie just it's bad shit on top of bad shit on top of bad shit on top of bad shit right but the watch is sucked the what? the watch so you don't even know it I didn't even oh I know what it is I just never seen it hey, it's pretty bad I honestly don't care even, I've never Vince, was really, even Vince Vaughn couldn't save it I wasn't even really never into Ben Stiller yeah ever his ears are big I mean I liked the Ben Stiller <laughs> show when it was on MTV but he's alright you look but, at it now you're like that was crap yeah he, he's alright but mm, I don't know there's something about him that's just weird. Like, it's like the Adam Sandler thing. You can't make him be, like, a leading man love interest of any woman because they're just funky looking. I don't know, though. That new one of Ben Stiller's actually looks kind of interesting. That secret life of what the fuck ever. I'm not saying he's not, like, good in comedy and that kind of stuff. I'm just saying he's not a Cary Grant. He's not a George Clooney. He's not a Brad Pitt. Don't try to make him out to be one. Ugly fucks like that don't score hot chicks. Sorry, but Adam Sandler's been pulling that shit for years I don't know, Ben now. Stiller's wife's pretty fucking hot, though. She's hot, but he's got money. True. Right. <laughs> and Adam Sandler's got, you know, I don't know what he's got, but... He, well, money. He lots got of money, it. lots of money. But, like, yeah, but, like, every single movie, he's supposed to be the leading man love interest. No, it doesn't happen. Okay, they don't want egg-shaped head, fucked up guys who got Adam famous Sandler for has hard noises. Adam Sandler has nothing to do with extract, and I really have nothing else to say about extract besides <laughs> it's a black comedy and it's pretty fucking good. You should check it out, <laughs> and so should those fucking people. Sorry about all the hate on it. So that. moving on to number four. <laughs> Or number four is Slapshot. I this movie's Slapshot. been on our list for a while. We just haven't got to it. Hey. I don't know why. It's fucking awesome. Fucking Paul Newman yeah. and fucking um, the Hanson brothers were fucking awesome. You know, with their black the glasses, glasses and beating the tape piss and, yeah. on everybody. But hey, you know, there's a lot of movies on it that probably we haven't gotten to yet that are pretty damn cool. Yeah, I don't know. We don't have any rhyme or reason for why we pick what we do or even really what order they're in. We just kind of be like, hey, I feel like doing this one this week, and that's how we do it. Yeah. So Slapshot, anyway. It's like he what? Paul, Paul Newman is Paul Newman is before he decided to, to do salad dressing, salad dressing <laughs> and marinara sauce and God knows what. But whatever he what he was with the Philadelphia Flyers or something or was it a fake team that didn't exist? But I they kicked them down a fake team? to the minors know. to coach this team or whatever, yeah. right? And they were they weren't. No, wait a minute, that's not right. I liked them. In Their that hockey period. team wasn't getting any business, so they decided they were going to you know just start roughing people up and. and well, I just remember again, Paul Newman ended up, what, skating around naked in the fucking Yeah, one break. part. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time since I watched Slap Shop, but it's fucking, Paul awesome. Newman, Paul Newman's Paul Newman's awesome. fucking awesome. Paul Newman's fucking awesome. Paul Newman's fucking badass. Cool Hand Luke. Cool Hand Luke. Fucking The Sting. You can't get any better than Cool Hand Luke. And The Sting's man. fucking awesome, too, because anything with badass. Jackie Gleason in it's oh, fucking yeah, awesome. But I'm just saying, like, the, the fucking yeah. Cool Hand Luke. It's the is coolest the movie coolest ever. The coolest movies ever, man. He's just a cool fucking dude. Even in Hence death, cool hand, the guy was cool with balls. Spoilers. You know? And George Kennedy fucking was awesome, man. When he went after that fucking sheriff. There was, was a lot of people like, in that fucking movie. Oh, yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Taking a drink here, boss. Taking a drink. Dude, there was fucking Joe Don Baker was in it. And I don't mm -hmm. think anybody even realized that, but he was in for like, 
<laughs> but he was in there. Yeah. You know, Joe Don motherfucking Baker. This is way before Mitchell. But. Yeah. Anyway, why we just keep going farther and farther off fucking topic? Fuck it. We already said the slapstick was awesome. If you haven't seen it, you slap shot. It. Sorry. What did I say? Slapstick. My bad. <laughs> slap shot. <laughs> So moving on to number three! Number three! Number three is a documentary. It is. And it is. is it? This film is not yet rated. Oh, that's it's good. It's basically a documentary about how the film rating board is extremely hypocritical and fucked up. Yeah, downright retarded. Yeah. But, you know, it has all <laughs> kinds of directors and stuff in it talking about the MPAA, you know, Kevin Smith's in it, and a whole bunch of other fucking people. Yeah. <clears throat> the rating system is fucking dumb. Like, really fucking dumb. Because what was it? I can't remember. There was a story in there somebody was telling about how they took a film and gave it to the MPAA and they're like that's an X or NC-17 now yeah and then they fucking said you need to change this this and this so they handed back the same movie and gave it an R didn't change a fucking thing yeah it's ridiculous dude yeah you know it's something like, uh, my woman called me on it yesterday because I was bitching about like Sons of Anarchy not that the show is bad at all it's not it's it great. has its laws it's not that it's, it's the, I said they can say dick cock pussy all this kind of shit and whatever but it's a biker gang that never, ever, once uses the F word. Not once. I, I realize it's on television. But yeah, I'm but sorry, but there's a lot of situations that somebody would be like, "What the fuck?" Not but Jesus I would, Christ or shit. But I would rather have him say that than have it being bleeped or just cut out. So oh, it's just yeah, like, what most definitely, most definitely. You know, I would so. rather have that than that. And, but so it's, just, it's one of those shows like Breaking Bad where it's not necessary uh, that they say fuck. You know, yeah, the, but, the writing's good enough where they get around it without fucking saying it. But real, unlike us, in real life situations, you'd be like, what the fuck Well, is us, going on? obviously, because we'd just be like, fuck it, fuck, 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 oh, fuck. But half the situations in SOA, you'd be going, holy fuck! Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so once again, we're what off would topic. Our, what would our Moving on to number two. Our rating, what would our rating be? Like a triple double X or something. Moving on to number two. <laughs> number two? You'd definitely be a triple X, you fat fuck. Yeah. Number two is the big <laughs> boss, Bruce Lee movie. Oh, yeah. What's the plot of this one? Because this is one of the two that they got their names fucking switched up when they released them over here, the Chinese Connection and the Big Boss. And this is the one where, you know, he uh, no dogs allowed in the park and he kicked the sign apart. Was that the one? Well, the, well they all kind of are like that. Kind of. Because it's like Bruce Lee is persecuted in Japan because of him being Chinese. The sick men of Asia is what, you know, they called the Chinese <laughs> yeah. back then. Yeah, nice people. Because there was a whole bunch of fucking movies that, you know, you learn about that in. Can't the Asians just get along? But anyway, Bruce Lee gets goes to get revenge, basically, like every martial arts film ever fucking As made. As Bruce Lee should. Yeah. Get and he's fucking bad fucking ass. He is. I wish we had him now to send him to Washington so he could do the shit to them. But anyway. You know? Like, beat the piss out of Was uh, that the one at the Bowie. end where he kicks the dude, he does, like, the whole butterfly back thing and then kicks the dude through the paper wall? I think... Think. Because if it well, is they, that I one, know it's the, I know it's the one where at the end they ended up on this green field or whatever. They were like out in a yard somewhere, and he was whooping the dude's ass. And then chick comes up and she's like, says something to him, and he's like, "It's okay," and puts his arms up, and they just carry him away. And the music's like, da 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 da, ba da ba da da ba da. You know, it was all loud as balls. But yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't remember, if it was the one where he kicks that dude through the wall, that was <coughs> Jackie Chan was the stunt double in that. It really pisses me off to no end that we, we get Bruce Lee taken away from us, but Steven Seagal's fat ass is allowed to walk oh, around here we go, without okay. having diabetes didn't you or do, a stroke. Didn't you do this already when we just did Game of Death a few weeks ago? I'm, I don't care. I'll say it every time. Every time we mention Bruce Lee, I'm going to say, why did he have to go and we couldn't have Steven Seagal blow up somewhere? Okay, moving on to number one. Number one. Number Number one is something else that Bird hasn't seen, so I'm suggesting to him right fucking now. It's an American Horror Story. Okay. It's on FX, but it's also on Netflix. The first and yeah. second season. The first season is about this family that moves into this house. It's all haunted and all kinds of fucked up, you know, haunting stuff happens and people die and, and everything paranormal else. Paranormal activity. No, nothing, nothing at all boring like it. Like His fucking <laughs> Jessica Lang is in in this and fucking amazing. She is. She is awesome in like, this fucking. Like hot naked. No. Something? like a acting? really good acting. Oh, okay. But anyway, the first one's about this family. We're not known for talking about stuff. the chicks acting, though. Were you known to talk about their titties? Oh, yeah. But <laughs> she's all old and haggard, so, so all she's got is her fucking acting. acting. <laughs> oh, she's got 
But anyway, that's the first season. In the second season, it all takes place in the 60s inside this mental institution. A lot of the same actors, but they're all playing different characters, which is kind of cool. You know, they brought back the same cast, but they're all completely different people, and it has nothing to do with the first season. That's cool. But actually, at times, in the second season, mm -hmm. Jessica Lang is kind of attractive for being like a 70-some-year-old woman. No. I thought Jessica Lange was hot back in the day. Yeah. I mean, wasn't she in the fucking the King Kong one with fucking Bridges? Uh, wasn't I she? Think, I the one? think that was her. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I think it is. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. But, I forgot all about that Kong movie. That's but crazy. inside of the mental institution <laughs> in the second season, all kinds of supernatural stuff happens, alien stuff, killer stuff. It's all kinds of really cool fucking stuff. Like, Sounds good. Dylan McDermott's in it a lot. Um, you know, Zachary Quinto played, you know, Spock from the craptastic remakes of Star Trek. Well, uh -huh. I guess the first one was good, but the second one was... <laughs> <laughs> And all kinds of fucking people. But anyway... Hey, do you know what? Fucking, uh, dumb. Uh, fucking Cincinnati Bengals QB. He looks like fucking Spock V of red hair. Every time they show a picture of him, I'm like, hey, he's like a fucking ginger Spock. But anyway, I don't really have anything else to say about American story, American Horror Story, but really, once you get done, I'm catching up on Sons of Anarchy, you should... Start checking out American Horror Story. It's yeah, people cool. on Facebook will stop ruining it for me. Dicks. <laughs> well, I had Walking Dead ruined for me, so it happens, oh, fucking Facebook. Let's go ahead now and state that we are formally protesting the new some, uh, the new project that they want to come up with of rebooting Naked Gun Police Club. Starring Ed fucking Helms. Fuck you, yeah. motherfucker. They just don't need to make this fucking movie. They don't. They, do, they really don't need to make this movie. No, because no matter who they're gonna get it's they ain't gonna compare to Leslie Nelson no, or no, fucking no. George Kennedy or fucking any of those motherfuckers. It'd be like if they decided they wanted to redo all of Mel Brooks's films. Now don't you think somebody out there who remembers such films? Like if they want to do redo Blazing Saddles. Are you fucking well, kidding me? Well they would me? never they would never, never be able to pull that Blazing because, Saddles exactly. up with all the race stuff <laughs> in it. But no, like if they want to make remake Young Frankenstein or Spaceballs. Oh, yeah. Or any of those classics, you know? Fuck you. Uh, yeah. Hollywood. Anxiety. Yeah, dude, I fucking hate Hollywood. They're fucking stupid. They're out of ideas. They can't. They don't have an original thought in their fucking head. So they and rape any, our childhood. Exactly. I don't need if to get into anybody, screaming again. Anybody who has an original thought who might be in said Hollywood, they shoo away because they're afraid it might not do money. Well, how the fuck you know? Give them a chance. There's a lot of writers out there. A lot of people who have talent. Besides, you know, I mean, you can't just keep relying on what happened and what was successful years ago. Fuckers. Anyway. Sorry. Weren't we talking about American Horror Story? We were. <laughs> but anyway, I'm done with American Horror Story, so <laughs> that's all for this week for Bird and Gutter, Top 5 on Netflix. We'll see you next week. Goodbye, peeper. That's like the longest, widest hoodie ever. I think that's <laughs> off. That looks pretty goddamn stupid. I feel like you should be Cobra. Cobra! <laughs> okay, moving on to number two. No. Number one. <laughs>